Hello and welcome. We are discussing PYQs of number system and the theme is number of trailing zeros in an expression or in a product. Let's understand the meaning of the theme first. Suppose we have a product 24 into 50 and I'm asking how many trailing zeros are there in this product. So what you will do? You will multiply 24 with 50, which comes out to be equal to what? 1200. Now you can see in 1200, two trailing zeros are present. Hence, in this product, number of trailing zeros are 2. Now, this is one way of dealing with this particular problem. There is one more. Let me discuss that as well. The given product was 24 into 50 and we were looking for number of trailing zeros. So remember in a product number of trailing zeros and the power of 10 in that product is one as same thing. See, let's find out power of 10 in this product. To find out power of 10 in this product, we will simplify this given expression. 24 is 2 cube into 3 power 1. 50 is 2 power 1 into 5 power 2. Let's simplify it further. It comes out to be equal to 2 power 4 into 3 power 1 into 5 power now, I have told you power of 10 and number of trailing zeros in a product is one as same thing. So, with the help of this, let's find out power of 10. So, this 2 raised to, raised to power 4 can be written as 2 square into 2 square. This 5 square has been written first and then this 3 raised to power 1. Now, this 2 square and this 5 square will make 10 power 2. Now, I can see in this product, power of 10 is 2. Hence, in this product, number of trailing zeros has to be 2. So, this is one more approach for dealing with this question. Let's deal with some PYQs based upon this thing. See, we are looking for how many zeros are there at the end of falling product. Basically, number of zeros and number of trailing zeros is one as same thing. So, to find out number of trailing zeros, we will find out power of 10. And to find out power of 10, we will find out power of 2 and power of 5. So, we have to simplify this given expression. So, this one as it is, let's simplify this 5. 5 cannot be simplified further. Why? Because 5 is a prime number. What about 10? 10 can be written as 5 into 2. What about this 50? 15 is 3 into 5. 20 is 4 into 5 which is 2 square into 5. 25 is 5 square, 30 is 6 into 5 which is further equal to 2 into 3 into 5, 35 is 7 into 5, 40, 40 is 8 into 5 which can further be written as 2 cube into 3, sorry 2 cube into now, 45, 45, 45 is 3 square into 5, 50 is 2 into 5 square, 55 is 5 into 11 and 60 is, 60 is 15 into 4, 15 into 4 is 3 into 5 into 2 square. So, what we have done, we have simplified 
each term of the given expression. Now, let us find out r of 5 and power of 2 in this expression. So, power of 2, 1, 3, 4, 3, 7, 7 and this, 8, 8 and 2 is 10. So, in this expression, power of 2 is 10. Now, let us find out power of 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, and this one is 14. So, in this expression, power of 5 is 40. We are looking for trailing zeros. So, we should find out power of 10. So, see, this 2 raised to the power 10 as it is, 5 raised to the power 14 can be written as 5 power 10 and 5 power 4. So, this 2 power 10 coupled with 5 power 10 can be written as 10 power now, I can say in this product, I can say in this product, power of 10 is what? It is 10 only. Hence, in this product, number of zeros should be how many? Number of zeros should be 10 only. I hope the question is clear. Let us do one more question on this very thing. See, the question says how many consecutive zeros are there at the end of the integer obtained in the product 1 power 2, 2 power 4, 3 power 6, 4 power 8 and this goes on till 25 power 50. Now, students, see, this question is nothing but the examiner is asking how many trailing zeros will be there in this product. So, for trailing zeros, I have told you to find out power of 10. I have told you to find out power of 10. Now, so, before finding out power of 10, we just discussed that we should look out for power of 2 and then power of 5. To find out power of 10, we should look out for power of 2 and then power of 5. Okay. Now, here is the fact. What that fact is? Please pay attention. The fact is, if power of 2, if power of 2 which is x here is less than power of 5, then power of 10 will definitely be the lesser power. Okay. So, out of power of 2 and power of 5, if power of 2 is less then power of 10 will be the lesser value. Okay. And if power of 5 is more or power of 5 is less, then definitely power of 10 gonna be the lesser power again. So, out of power of 2 and power of 5, power of 10 will be the lesser power out of power of 2 and out of power of 5. Okay. I hope you have understood this fact. Okay. Kindly note it down. Now, see, in this very expression, you can see every second number is a multiple of 2. See, 2, 2, every second number is a multiple of 2. Suppose, in this product, power of 2 comes out to be equal to x and power of 5 comes out to be equal to y, then definitely y will be less than x. 
Why? Because every second number is a multiple of 2. So, in this product, definitely power of 2 will be more than power of 5. Hence, in this particular example, power of 10 will come out to be equal to y only, lesser power only. Okay. So, in this expression, power of 5, power of 10, and number of trailing zeros will be one as same thing. I hope this is clear. Let's, let's find out power of phi in this expression. So, if you pay attention to this given product, you will find out with in every term, power is the double of the base. See, base over here is 1. So, power is double of 1. Base over here is 2. So, power is double of 2. Base over here is 3. So, power of 3 is 6. Base over here is 4. So, power of 4 is 8. So, in this expression, we are looking for power of 5 only. So, definitely in this product, power of 5 will come out to be equal to 10. Then, further, see, 5 power 10, then 6 power 12, then 7 power 14, then 8 power 16, then 9 power 18, then 10 power 10. Why we are writing 10 power 10 here? Because in 10, I can sense the presence of 5. Then 11 power 22, sorry, it should be 20 here. See, 4 power 8, 5 power 10. 6 power 12, 7 power 14, 9 power 18, then 10 power should be 20. Okay. Further, 11 power 22, then 12 power 22. So, in this series, I will find next 5 in 15. So, 15 power 30 gonna be there. Then, 20 power 40 gonna be there. And then 25 power 50. So, in 5 power 10, power of 5 is 10 only. So, in 10 power 20, five of, of, uh, power of 5 is 20 only. In 15 power 30, power of 5 is 30 only. In 20 power 40, power of 5 is 40 only. But in 25 power 50, see. 25 power 50 is equals to 5 square whole power 50, which is finally equal to 5 power 100. So, in 25 power 50, power of 5 will be 100. Power of 5 will be 100. Now, numbers are being multiplied. So, we will add their power. It should be 20 here. Kindly correct it. It should be 20 here. So, 10 plus 20, 30 plus 30, 60 plus 40, 100 plus 100 is 200. So, in this expression, power of 5 comes out to be equal to, in this expression, power of 5, that was y, comes out to be equal to 200. Hence, in this expression, power of 10 will be 200. Hence, there are going to be how many trailing zeros? 200 tailing zeros in this number. I hope you have understood it. Thank you.